What's going on guys? Tall Fisherman Jay here back with my buddy Fab's Money. It's out in honor of the mullet run. We're gonna try and do a catch and cook mullet. Now it is the mullet run, but you guys have also been requesting to do mullet catch and cook. So we're here at Dania. We're gonna try and cast net some mullet. I'm not too good on the cast net. He's he's pretty good at it, so I got him here to do it for me. But um we're gonna go ahead and try and catch some monster mullet. We call them hog legs here. So we're gonna try and get one or two and we are off to the kitchen. So let's do it. All right, that was a little too close to try and get a pancake, but I'm pretty sure I got a lot. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we got some decent sized ones. All right. All right, we got some fingers in here. No hog legs, no hog leg hastings, but we're gonna keep trying. Any big ones worthy of a catch and cook? No. Nope, let them go. Yeah, you got one. You got one? Wow. It's all you can eat pancake time at IHOP. Dude, we're getting pissed on, dude. I know. All right, guys, check this out. As you saw on the GoPro, it started like pissing rain, but it stopped raining for two seconds and we got this monster freaking mullet. This thing, I've never seen a mullet this big. It's, it's like, like arm long. It's arm long. I'd say it's about a pound. Pound and a half? Like two pounds. Two pounds is a huge mullet. So this is perfect for a catch and cook. So we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna cut them up. All right, let's do it. Okay, guys, we're back here. Fab's money. We got, we got the big old mullet here. We're gonna cut it up. Uh, how are we gonna do it? We're gonna like split it down the middle, right? Yeah, we're gonna scale it first, split scale it down it, the middle. Split it down the middle, uh, cut the head the off. Take the guts out, rip the, the backbone off, off right? cut the head off. And then just pan fry it or, or grill it, whichever yeah, grill one. It. So, we're gonna do it that way. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's get started. <laughs> So we are back in the kitchen now. Here is the mullet right here. Butterfly, it looks pretty damn good. I mean, for mullet, you guys, I'm really surprised on how light the meat is. Um, I've heard very, very good things about this. So I'm pretty excited. Every fish loves this. Tarpon, Jack, Snook, literally every fish in the ocean loves mullet. So I'm gonna see what all the hype's about. Today we are doing light seasoning, pretty much just some salt 
and that is it. So on to the pan it goes. Let's get this started. All right, so we're putting this hole in here. Oh my God. Skin down like that. That is way too hot, but we're gonna char this. This fish is done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now that looks pretty damn good. It smells really good, and look at that color. Golden brown, the tail's nice and crispy. The bottom skin is charred. It actually looks really, really tasty, so I'm pretty excited to try this out. I didn't burn it, ha! But here we go. Nice little mullet right here. We're gonna put after cooking, we're gonna just season it with a little bit more salt, and that's it, just a tiny bit. And that is it, you guys, there we go. That is the cooked mullet. We're gonna head to the table now and try it out. I hope this tastes good. All right, so we're here at the table with our mullet. Now, here it is one more time. It looks pretty damn good for, for mullet, for a bait fish. Looks tasty, so here is I mean, I can't really do can't really do a break test is what I usually do. Obviously, when I have fillet, little pieces of nuggets, something like that, I'll break it from the camera, show you what it looks like inside. Uh, this I can't really break it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scoop out a piece with the fork and hopefully get a piece out, and you can see how white it is. And I'm curious as well. So actually, that worked out perfectly. And here we go. That is one of the pieces of mullet. Wow, that is pretty surprising. Actually, I wasn't expecting it to be that white, considering the fact that these fish eat uh, pretty much everything but other fish. Pretty white, pretty tender, smells pretty good. Doesn't have too much of a strong fishy scent to it. I'm gonna lift this thing and I'm gonna take a giant bite out of it. Oh my God, it's hot. Well, it catch and cook, taste test, three, two, one. Hmm. It's uh, interesting. Now, it's not bad. It's not bad. It is interesting to say the least. Now, this it doesn't have. It definitely doesn't taste the same as normal fish. The thing about this mullet, you guys, is mullet don't eat um, other fish. They eat like algae and plankton, and I've heard people catching them on bread. They eat other stuff. No, not fish. So they're not fish eaters. So it has. It's gonna sound weird, but it has like a grassy taste to it. It tastes kind of like, does taste okay, it tastes good, the texture is good, but it just tastes different than what I'm used to when I eat fish, whether it be saltwater or freshwater. It does have a very different taste. Gamey, I think gamey is the best way to explain it. It does taste a little gamey, but overall, it's not that bad. I've heard a lot of people eat this stuff. I enjoy it. I'm picking at it right now, so it is pretty good. I give it a seven out of 10. Mullet, seven out of 10. That's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Catch and Cook. Now, mullet was definitely suggested by a lot of you guys, and I did it in honor of the mullet run that we are having right now in South Florida. So I decided to go ahead, get some hog legs, and taste them. Like I said before, pretty much every single fish in the ocean loves to eat this thing, so I decided to give it a try. And it was pretty good. If you guys like the catch and cook videos, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you want to see next. Freshwater, saltwater, a species that I have not done before. Leave it in the comment section below. I may pick your comment for the next episode of catch and cook. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you later.
wrong with you?